Orator, please, I have a song to render. Can I die just briefly? Oh, yeah, sing. I will pray, I will pray, I will pray, I will pray. If I not pray, Satan will make mess of me. I will pray, I will pray, I will pray, I will pray. If I not pray, Satan will make mess of me. Praise God. Jesus, Amen. praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Brother Temple Chijin Dumetu. Brother what? Brother Temple Chijin Dumetu. Thank God. Brother Temple. 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 Yes, sir. Okay. I live in number 19, Femi Orebuti Street. I go Palace Way, Solo. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want, um, and, um, and I enjoy choosing 2022, last year, 2022. Oh, praise the Lord. Thank you, Father. I want to give my testimony. I want to thank God for how God reversed back the arrow of blindness shot on me at my former working place. Wow. Let's clap on to God and appreciate him. Uh, I was in the shop then at the workplace. Suddenly I felt something on my eye like a veil. The thing cover my eye, you know. I can't see clearly. I was feeling unconscious. I, I, can't see, I can't see brightly. I was now wondering what is happening. <laughs> I still touch my eye. No, with what? No sense myself. What is happening? I've not give, I've not ever had that experience before. Jesus, praise God. Hallelujah. So, what I now let I do? Since the thing becomes serious, I don't want to pray like the Pharisees and Sadducees that pray openly that people will see them. I just left that place immediately and went to a dark place, a room where there's chair, sat down. Then I start praying and calling on God of choosing, calling on God. I took my, I was praying, 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 praying. I prayed for some minutes. The thing didn't show any effect, no sign that it has stopped. Jesus, praise God. Hallelujah. And I took my hanky from my pocket. Then I begin to pray and declare who am I, declare, declare that I'm a choosing, I'm a choosing. You are all blindness, I command you, I return you back to send that in Jesus' name. Amen. Suddenly, uh, for some minutes, it went off. Choosing, praise God. It went off. Yes. Go out, sister, play, that same day, that same moment. Clap your hands on the God of the chosen. That's right. So I thank God, if not for God. As you mean that it didn't happen, it didn't, God didn't answer my prayer, God didn't intervene, God of choosing didn't intervene. I wonder how it will be. They, they, they know me as they're choosing. And they, gave me, they give me my way. All the people there, all the, all the workers. So I wonder how it will be. The story will be that a brother, choosing brother came to shop and became blind. And he's going home. And after he says they choose, choosing, praise God. Hallelujah. So I thank God for that miracle. Let's that clap on to God and appreciate it. I say may God be glorified in Jesus' name. The God of choosing answers prayers. My second testimony is that I want to give share this dream. It's like a revelation. It's also a dream about the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. It happened. I saw myself in the presence of an angel by the left side and the right side. They lined up, and I was in the center. Then our Lord Jesus Christ was. I was beside me. I mean, beside me. So I I was there watching and observing. I was surprised to see myself that very day. This this dream I had. It had been long for like over over three months. Choosing, praise God. Hallelujah. I pray that may God of choosing forgive me because I, my mind, my spirit have been worrying me to share it. If I even told one of the brothers that was evangelist, he said I should go and share it. But since then I was contemplating, postponing, proscaminating, letter, 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 until this very day, by the, God, by the grace of God, I'm giving it out. So it happened that Christ, our Lord Jesus, ordered, give an order that they should sound the trumpets. The angels was with its trumpets. So he ordered them to sound the trumpets. So they took the trumpet, you know, we are like preparing to sound it. And they, we are, I was there standing and watching and observing what is happening. So they were wasting time. Jesus became, our Lord, our Lord Jesus became um, worried. Jesus became worried. What is happening? Why are you people wasting time? Suddenly so he went behind, to, he went to one of the angels and, and took the trumpet from the hand. Jesus praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And he sounded the trumpet. Immediately he sounded it. I woke up. That's why I woke up from that dream. Jesus, praise God. Hallelujah. So this is kind of a warning to all we brethren, which is in brethren, that we should prepare for rapture, for the coming of Christ, second coming of Christ, that Jesus can appear and come at any time. That we should prepare, we should take our relationship with God. 
very very serious mm -hmm. she's in praise lord hallelujah i pray for my daddy Gio, although i know i'm not worthy to pray for him who am i to pray for him i just joined choosing last year i didn't i've not gone deep to the ministry but i will still pray for him in jesus name amen father lord i thank father lord i pray for my daddy Gio, lord father that oh god whatever he's doing oh lord in this ministry oh god whatever he's going to need whatever he's going to need to move this ministry forward father i pray may you give it to him in jesus name Amen. father i pray for grace much less grace much less anointing much less zeal, much less power fill me with your holy ghost and power and i come against every kingdom of darkness every pan, man or woman spirit that's trying to stop in this ministry oh lord i pray oh god father may you intervene lord and destroy them by fire in jesus name Amen. father i pray oh god lead him through help him oh god empower his family oh god more anointing more grace in jesus name Amen. and i pray for our mommy g oh give him the grace the wisdom the anointing all what it takes to assist our pastor and daddy Gio. in jesus name i pray just praise the lord wait this one that's amen i just want to correct this impression as long as you are a child of god and you are born again you are worthy to pray for our pastor let us not let us not continue to say i am not worthy because if you if somebody hear it if the person even want to pray he will say no i am not worthy and he will not pray we need to be praying for our pastor all of us should pray for him amen all of us need to pray for him it is our it is the only duty in fact we owe him that duty so don't say you are not worthy to pray for him because you are born again because you are washed in the blood of jesus you just qualified you and made you worthy to pray for him so let everyone just come and be prepared to pray for our pastor it's very crucial it's very important and we cherish it when you pray for our pastor praise the lord let's clap unto god and appreciate him